Hey guys, welcome back. So guys, we are continuing our PHP website with admin panel. So now guys, as we have seen in previous video, how we can download the admin panel and set up the admin panel in PHP and we are here. So now guys, in this video, we are going to start with the user CRUD. Okay. So where we are going to add user with the permission role as admin or user or staff, any roles. Okay. So we will be performing that. So now guys, let's get started. Let's go to this sidebar and set this link as a users.php. From there, we are going to use the users page and then we are going to create the user page, store the data, edit the data, update the data and delete the data. Okay. So let's get started. So as simple, where is the sidebar? Let's move to includes. Here is a sidebar and yep, let's move below. So here is my admin slash user and it is user.php. Perfect. So now guys, let me create a file inside this admin folder users.php. Let's create one more file users hyphen create.php file. So this is for creating the file. And now guys, let us begin here. So as simple, we need to include our header and footer to include the admin dashboard, sidebar, navbar, everything. So as you see here, we have included in the main page. This is my header and then the footer. Perfect. And now guys, you can begin with the row column MD12, a simple card, then the card header with the H4. We'll mention users lists, a simple eight tag, add add users okay and let's design this button button hyphen primary and float to end and this href it's going to be users slash hyphen create dot php okay and now guys here inside the card body you start to display your user record but now now we need to create a file with this name here we have already created and let me just refresh on this users okay so we have a user list here add button add users so we are on the users create.php let's include the same design copy and paste in your create.php let's paste that as simple and now guys add users and make this as a back button and it's going to users page done and make this to button danger and here your form starts for the registration of user or admin done guys and now let's begin with the all the other input fields so label here i'm going to tell it's a name input dot form control name equal to name so let's copy guys here paste 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 okay and one more record we have to paste here so this is going to be the email or let's tell phone number and here mention phone then email 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 label with the password and here password type and here also password and here we are going to give the role select role and it's not an input it's a select option just use the class your form select okay and you can tell this as a role name type role add option select role copy and paste admin make it to small admin and user user done guys if you want you can just keep on adding other roles also for now it's fine and now guys one more it's margin bottom three let's copy the label here and again input it's going to be the checkbox name equal to is ban so we are going to ban him like that 
and use a style for the width colon 30 px heigst height colon 30 px done and now guys a simple submit button and here i missed that guys just use a br tag to break the rule and here button submit type submit or let's tell save okay so it's more specific here we'll tell save user let's design this button button hyphen primary save this and now let's check the front end refresh awesome guys i see here this is missing and also guys i just want to keep this in a column wise so you can just get back here we see we have extra class name and just add a dot row here dot column md3 not 3 6 okay so you can just paste this 2 3 4 5 6 so we control x paste it again then finally guys this simple checkbox okay and one more column md let me tell as six this also paste here done so guys i just want this to be three and this also rule and checkbox to be three let's save refresh awesome guys so everything is looking cool and i just want to make this button here at this end so what we'll do add a br add a break tag and text end save it done guys so now guys we have created the user page i mean add user page now let's create the edit user page also and then we will design the main page also with the table record so first we'll be doing this let's copy and paste and mention as edit page so edit user and it's going to be the same back and all this edit form also it's going to be the same and here we will tell update user and the button name also we are going to change update user okay now if you refresh get back so user hyphen edit.php we are on the edit page awesome guys let's go back and let me just design this user page also so it finishes so let's use table dot table okay and here we begin with table head table row table heading id then the username copy and paste email then the phone and guys that's it let me show with the action table body table row and here table data here your data starts like name name email phone and other edit buttons edit and delete button so let me design that edit and this will be the delete so here let's design this button button success button small okay let's copy this and again class button danger let's use margin x2 from right and left let's refresh awesome guys so here the table looks very simple you can just add this table bordered and table striped save it that's it so now guys you can just get back here and user hyphen edit dot php and this will be the delete so you can create the file user delete dot php okay so let me create that also user delete 
not users let me keep it as users delete so it will be one followed structure save it guys done refresh perfect so guys we have successfully created all the pages and how the form will be looking and now guys let's get to the next video in that we are going to code and save all this data fetch all the data edit the data and delete the data okay so guys in this video that's it thank you for watching this video please subscribe like and share